Good morning, dear all. I have already shared a note on solution for driven down the oscillator using Laplace transform. In this video, I will explain it in detail. Before going to driven down the oscillator, let us have a review on the solution of single harmonic oscillator, which was already discussed in your class. This is the equation for single harmonic oscillator m d square x t by d t square plus k x t is equal to zero and we have initial conditions x of zero is equal to x zero and x dot zero is equal to zero now we have to apply laplace transform to this equation then inverse laplace transform and coming to the solution that we already did in our class. So applying Laplace transform, we obtain M Laplace transform of D square X by DT square plus K into Laplace transform of XT is equal to zero. Therefore, finally we obtain X of S is equal to X of zero into S by S square plus omega zero square where omega zero square is equal to k by m. Then we apply inverse Laplace transform. Therefore, instead of x of s, we have x of t and the inverse Laplace transform of s by s square plus omega zero square is equal to is cos omega zero t. Therefore, final solution is x t is equal to x zero into cos omega zero now coming to driven oscillator with the damping in all cases we have force is equal to mass into acceleration here we have three forces restoring plus resistive plus driving force now for restoring force, we have minus k xt, which is in the opposite direction to that of driving force. And for this resistive force, we have b into dx by dt, which is also in the opposite direction to driving force. Therefore, when we rearrange all this, we have the equation m d square x by dt square plus b dx by dt plus k x of t is equal to f of t where f of t is the driving force now we are applying the same condition initial condition x of zero is equal to x zero and x dot zero is equal to zero x zero means uh, in the initial stage amplitude is zero Now we are doing same operation what we did in the case of single harmonic oscillator. We have to take Laplace transform, then arrange it to get X of S on the left hand side and all other terms on the right hand side. Then we have to take inverse Laplace transform. Therefore, L m d square x by dt square or Laplace transform of m d square x by dt square is equal to m into s square x of s minus s x of 0 minus dx 0 by dt. Now we have x of 0 is equal to 0 and then dx 0 by dt is equal to 0. Now Laplace transform of b dx by dt that is equal to b into s x of s minus x of 0. Then Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s substituting all these we obtain x of s is equal to f of s that is the laplace transfer f of t into 1 by m into s square plus bs plus k now we are taking m outside therefore f of s by m into 1 by s square plus b by 
m into s plus k by m. Now we have to rearrange it to take the inverse Laplace transform. We already did all this in our classroom. So f of s by m into 1 by s plus b by 2m the whole square plus k by m minus b square by 4m square. Now s plus b by 2m the whole square is equal to s square plus bs by m that is there plus b square by 4m square that term is not here in this s square plus b s by m plus k by m sorting it from k by m therefore in this equation we have k by m minus b square by 4m square so finally we get x of s is equal to f of s by m into omega 1 into omega 1 divided by s plus b by 2m the whole square plus omega 1 the whole square we are dividing one omega 1 and then multiplying one omega 1 to take the inverse this is a summary of what we did so far take the laplace transform then rearrange it in the form of x of s which is equal to f of s by m into 1 by s plus b by 2 m the whole square plus omega 1 square where of course omega 1 square is equal to k by m minus b square by 4 m square the problem is that here on the right hand side we have these two terms are the Laplace transform of two terms or the product of the Laplace transform. So we cannot apply inverse Laplace transform directly. So we have a theorem for a convolution theorem. If Laplace transform of F1 T is equal to F4 F1S and Laplace transform of F2 T is equal to F2S, then the inverse Laplace transform of the product of f1 s into f2 s, which is equal to integral 0 to t, f1 t minus is set into f2 is set d is set. We can apply this convolution theorem here because this is the product of two Laplace transforms f of s and 1 by s plus b by 2 m the whole square plus omega 1 square. So taking the inverse Laplace transform on both side, L inverse of x of t that is equal x of s that is equal to x of t, then L inverse of f of s divided by m omega 1 into omega 1 divided by s plus b by 2 m the whole square plus omega 1 the whole square is equal to 1 by m omega 1 into integral 0 to t of t minus tau into e raised to minus b by 2 um tau sine omega 1 tau d tau. I am using tau instead of z. There is no problem in that. Now we are applying a physical concept here. Is a, we substituting integral 0 to t of t minus tau d tau as p. That means we are considering this integral 0 to the f t minus tau d tau as an impulse. Now what is impulse? Impulse is a term that quantifies the overall effect of a force acting over a short period or a short time. Therefore we have f is equal to m into a. Now f is equal to m into dv by t or f into t is equal to m into delta v change in momentum though so this impulse force will give you the change or transfer of momentum so coming back to our equation so we are applying that physical concept here here p is equal to integral 0 to t of t minus tau data which is a force which is impulse and p that represent the momentum transferred by the impulse and finally p by m that is equal to 
momentum by m gives you velocity v0 so finally this equation changes to x of t is equal to v0 by m into e raised to minus b by 2m t into sine omega 1 t so this is the final solution for our driven diameter oscillator x of t is equal to p by m omega 1 e raised to minus b by 2m t sin omega 1 t so, so finally we obtain uh, this solution in x of t therefore x of t is equal to p by m omega 1 e raised to minus b by 2m t sin omega 1 t hope you understand it if you have any doubt please contact me through our group thank you